Okay, today we're going to start the server side install videos. Um, I have created a machine that is a precise dot net, precise underscore net um, Ubuntu, you know, version 12.04, and the only thing it has with it is OpenSSH, so you can log in from off campus. So. We've done that, we've logged into it. The first thing we need to do is download the starter files. And this is what it is right here. So, enter. Oh, file not found. Okay. Oh, I see what I did. Do, 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 dash. Starter. There we go. Okay, now we have downloaded the files. So now the next thing we need to do is extract them. Tar dash zxbf. Okay, there we go. Now, and there's our server side starter. PHP and our cache. All right. Now, the next step we need to do is um, requires sudo access, so all right. programs my SQL root users Okay, so now our MySQL root user password is set up. We'll finish installing. Okay, so there we go. Now those files are installed. Now the next step is we've so we've done we've installed our starter kit files. We've gotten them from there, done that. Um, the URL of the application should be server side ownership permissions. Configure the database, create a database named server side. So Oh, let's go back and look at that again. Okay. So. Dash. Oops. Dash U. T. Okay. So we're now into MySQL. So if we do, uh, oops. and those are just the normal databases that come pre-configured. So now we want to create. OK, 
Okay, so now we have a database created. So control C gets us out of MySQL. And that is the snippet for today. We will continue the next snippet later.